Do you remember this sound? Steam seems to think that you want to hear it every single time someone calls you on Steam. Now, even though you're trying to focus on your game, it seems to have it on absolute full, full volume, it's way too annoying and distracting. And even though there's a pop-up in the side of the screen so you know when someone's calling you anyways, it's simply way too excessive. So what I'm going to show you how to do today is how to completely disable that sound and reduce Steam calling to just that pop-up. Now, we need to do one thing before we start off, and that is to go to Steam settings, and then we want to head to interface and we want to untick this tick box which says run steam when my computer starts don't worry if you want to do it we are going to put it back in so it does still start up but we can't have this box ticked anymore because what we're going to be doing is step number one we're going to remove those sound files and step number two we're going to make sure that steam never is able to re-download them okay so let's press ok on that and then let's go back to steam and let's leave now once you've done that, I want you to open up your file explorer. And what we need to do is navigate to our Steam installation. So by default on a 64-bit system, that's on C, Program Files x86. Again, it'll be different if you're not using a 64-bit system. And then in Steam, and then we're looking for the resources folder, or the resource folder. Now in here, if you scroll down, we are looking for three dot wave files and in particular they are voice underscore busy voice underscore dialing uh, and voice underscore ringing dot wave so just highlight those and get rid of them right now without these files steam will never be able to play that really annoying sound all right so let's keep this open because what we need to do now is we actually need to ensure that steam will never go and re-download them because what happens every time you start Steam up, by default, it checks to make sure that you have all of the right files. So let's begin by making sure that whenever we press our Steam shortcut on the desktop, it never does it. So go to any shortcut which you have on your desktop or any other shortcut which you use to open Steam on your computer, and then go to this shortcut tab. And in the target field, you need to go and type in, leave a space, then type hyphen, hyphen no verify files and press apply and OK. Right now we just need to do the same thing uh, if you uh, open up Steam when your computer starts. So because we don't use this shortcut when we open up Steam when the computer starts, if we don't fix it then it is going to verify. So what we want to do is we need to go to our startup menu and we can do that by again opening up the file explorer and we're going to be need to look around a little bit but the easiest way to get there is to go to C again then it will be in users then your name and then we're looking for your app data but you won't be able to see that by default so what you need to do is go to view press hidden items and then go into app data and from there, let's keep on going, let's go to roaming, now Microsoft, now Windows, and we're nearly there. We now just go to the start menu and programs. Okay, we're finally there. Now under programs, you're just going to find the startup. And what this startup folder represents is if you leave shortcuts to certain applications in this folder, they'll automatically start up the moment that you start Steam. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in one of these shortcuts. So let's copy this shortcut and drop that in here. Now notice that this particular shortcut also has the no verify files thing on the end. So we can press OK and we can be done with that. Right now we can go and start up Steam and you'll never hear it again. Now just be careful because if you open up Steam any other way, so perhaps using your taskbar or by pressing restart Steam, some Steam skins has a restart Steam button, don't press that because if you do press it, it will go and verify. So from now on, only opening up Steam using the button or when your computer starts and it won't verify and those sounds will be completely gone. Enjoy your silence. If this helps you, if you have any difficulties, leave something in the description and thanks for watching.